I wasn't gonna buy anything, but it was just so freaking cute that I just had to do it. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day. What is up? Today's video, we are taking a thrift trip and with this thrift trip, I wanted to focus on, I guess, thrifting my Pinterest, but I actually have been feeling really inspired by my October 2020 Pinterest board, which if you guys don't know, I make monthly Pinterest boards and August and July were kind of dry. I don't know. I am definitely something I realize is I love more spring and fall fashion, summer fashion, because I am a very sweaty person. I've already talked about it before that I just prefer to wear jackets and I can't really do that. So a lot of the stuff I've seen on Pinterest, I just like haven't been gravitating towards. So I was taking a look at my different Pinterest boards kind of like in preparation for this video and I was like, oh dang, I'm actually really feeling this one. And so, I mean, the yellow blazer, the yellow sweater. And originally I wasn't really planning on starting to do fall thrifting videos because it's like mid-August, it's still really hot where I live, but oh, like Joanne Fabrics, I would like to start fall shopping in July. So I guess that's kind of what we're doing today. I don't know, especially because my thrift stores don't put out their sweaters until like mid-September. So I don't know if I'll necessarily like thrift fall clothes, but I definitely would like to just get kind of some inspiration. I would love to have a focus on basics. I've been really wanting a black button up shirt. So let's go into the thrift store. <laughs> One thing I've obviously been really into is the home decor at the thrift store. I've filmed a couple of trips that I've gone. Obviously I'm waiting for like the proper makeover to actually include the clips, but I did just want to take a look at the home decor, even though this is obviously a fashion one, but this blanket is so cute. Unfortunately, it does shed pretty intensely. And then I also want to go over to the comforters because I have been thinking about getting one almost like a blanket for the master. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's fun. Alrighty, so it is the next day and I cut off the thrifting portion a little short just because it wasn't going that great and I almost thought I would just delete the video and then I remembered I have thrifted a couple of things the past month just because I've been trying to thrift home decor so I've actually gone thrifting a couple times and just here and there while looking at home decor I found different cute pieces and so I just figured I would kind of combine it into this video especially because I did find stuff. I think because my mindset is so much on thrifting home decor and furniture that I naturally gravitated towards that versus clothing pieces. So hopefully it's okay that I'm kind of combining this into almost like a collective haul. Again, originally my plan was to thrift my Pinterest and let me tell you that, uh, that within like the first 10 minutes, I was like, oh no. And I mean, I still do have a pretty good like clothing try on haul for you guys. It's just kind of the thrifting portion was a little. Also the background, it's really bare. I'm still working on kind of my like office makeover video, so sorry. <laughs> to start off, I figured I would just get out of the way the home decor items I ended up getting, which I ended up purchasing to like bedding items, which I kind of showed in the thrifting portion, but I just wanted to show them in all their glory, which the first one is kind of like this quilt in a way. It is originally for a size double home bed, but kind of my plan for our bedroom is to either like a quilt or a blanket or even like a comforter that is maybe a little bit smaller and use it as kind of like a decorative piece. So I feel like this specific quilt does that perfectly again it is a double so it doesn't like go all the way around our bed which we do have a keen bed i really loved the colors of it it being green and pink and white i felt 
felt like it really went with the bedroom as it is right now. And I also just really love that there's two different patterns. So you kind of get two different styles in one piece. This one was $12, but as it gets a little bit colder, I ended up thrifting this California King comforter. Oh my goodness, it's a little bit too hot to kind of use right now. I mean, we do have our comforter, but we don't really use it. We more just use the bed sheet because it's just really hot in California right now. So I may wait until fall time, winter time to fully put it on the bed. And I just really wanted to find a good kind of unique comforter or duvet or quilt or kind of any of that just to really spruce up the room. The last home decor piece is just a like, it's not a towel, what would it be called? Like a kitchen towel, a tea towel, I, I don't know. I'm not too, you know, well versed in home decor design slain, but it says life is beautiful and it is just so beautiful. I, well, <laughs> life is beautiful, it is beautiful. I think it was only like a dollar, which is amazing. And now into the clothing items. The first thing, or I guess the only thing that I actually thrifted yesterday that was a clothing item was this tank top, which I think it was like $5. And it doesn't have a brand name, it doesn't have a size. It's just a pretty, like plain tank top. I really do love the square deck effect, which is honestly my favorite silhouette when it does come to tank tops. I just think they're really flattering. It is a really, really pale yellow. And so I don't even think that my camera is going to pick it up, but I love it so much. Honestly, don't have that many tank tops in general, which is very surprising because I live in Southern California and it's basically hot most of the year. So when I saw this, I just thought it was perfect. And then into some items that I've thrifted the past month as I've been thrifting home decor. First is this top, this cute little corset top, very different than the last one, but I just had a vision for this, wearing it with my faux leather pants. And you guys know I've been so obsessed with corset tops. I'm always a little bit hesitant when it comes to tops like this that have the like boob indent or like, it's basically saying where your boob should be usually. I don't know what it is, but mine just like don't go there. Whereas this, it's literally so perfect. It is a size 34, which I do find it a little bit weird that it doesn't say like what the top size would be and then maybe the boob area would be a different size based on that, but I am a 34. If you were curious, it is originally from a company called Bel Niente and I just love obviously the material. This is like my favorite material ever. I want to say it was like $9, which I ended up thrifting it at the Savers in Fountain Valley. I had originally gone there, I think like two weeks ago and I ended up not finding any home decor there, but as I was walking out, this totally caught my eye and I wasn't gonna buy anything, but it was was just so freaking cute that I just had to do it. This top, the same thing happened. I went thrifting for home decor. It caught my eye. I did thrift it from Goodwill and it was like $10 and it actually had the original tag from Robinson's May. It was originally $40 and then it was on sale for $30 and then I got it for $10 at the thrift store, which I thought was pretty great. And I mean, this pattern is so fun. I literally love this so much. I love putting black and white with colors, like pastel colors. I think it really just goes together so well. The only thing I am kind of disappointed about this top is the shoulder pads, not because I don't want the shoulder pads. I do want the shoulder pads, but because it is a very thin material, you can see the shoulder pads and it's not really that big of a deal, but it is kind of annoying when it's like, you can just see these like white things on the shoulders. I don't know if I'm going to cut them out and maybe nobody would notice, but like I noticed. So for this next one, I have a lot of thoughts, but let me just show you them first. I thrifted these jeans. They literally feel like sweats. I mean, they definitely are not a proper denim, which I go back and forth because I think my perfect denim is a very thick kind of restricting denim that's kind of tight. But then on the other side, sometimes when it comes to lounging around the house, I want to wear jeans, but obviously sitting down and like tight straight leg jeans, isn't that comfortable, especially during summertime. So going for a jean that's a little bit looser, which is why I very much appreciate kind of my denim collection because every single jean has a purpose and a reason for why I own it. I've been trying to find a good like boot cut jean or even slightly flare boot cut, maybe a little bit wider while also being high waisted, which is surprisingly very difficult when it comes to thrifting. And so when I saw these that number one, they were high waisted and then number two, they were long enough 
stuff, which literally never happens. Most of my jeans, even the ones that are a little bit looser, are a little bit cropped on me, which is fine. But sometimes I just, I don't want to show my ankles. So that's where these kind of come in. Now they are originally from Shein, which I think is why the material is so thin. I try not to thrift Shein stuff for a couple different reasons, which I am going to go on a little bit of a rant about Shein. So if you would like to skip that, you can go to this timestamp. If you are just here for the clothing items, that is totally okay. You do you. There have been multiple videos on like Shein as a brand in general, what Shein has done to like the fashion industry. And I think we can all collectively say that Shein is not a good company. Now, I understand that for a lot of people, Shein is the only thing that they can afford for clothing. And I am not talking about that. Like Mina Lee said in her video about Shein, low income people are not the ones keeping the industry afloat. So I just wanted to throw that out there. But the reason I wanted to bring this up is because I do feel conflicted when it comes to thrifting Shein items. I mean, in my opinion, it's the same thing as thrifting Forever 21 items or kind of any like fast fashion brand that is terrible. It's better that it's not going into the landfill, especially if it's something I am going to wear. But then I feel always like kind of weird because then people will ask me where it is from, like the original brand. And then I say Shein and they may take that and then go to the Shein website and buy that item. And in the past couple of years, I've noticed that there is a lot of Shein at thrift stores, which makes sense. That's what people are buying. So at least me thrifting it is giving it a new life. But with Shein items and being at the thrift store, the like price of it is very much skewed because Shein can sell an item for like $3 because they are barely paying their workers. Whereas a thrift store can't take that $3 item and then sell it for $1. I mean, maybe they can in some instances. Again, I don't work at a thrift store, so I don't know the ins and outs about pricing. But with all the fast fashion items that they sell there, they can't a lot of times, I would think, sell them even cheaper because they have to pay their workers. And their workers are hopefully, possibly getting paid more than what the people that actually made the items are, which is a whole nother discussion. So I kind of feel like iffy when it comes to like pricing of Shein items. I know on ThreadUp, they definitely charge more for a Shein item than what Shein does. But again, you have to look at why that is. If a company like ThreadUp sold the item less than what Shein is selling, then they wouldn't make any money. And then most likely just wouldn't sell Shein at all. They may see that item because of how cheap it is that it's not even worth that. So they may just throw it away. So I personally feel okay with thrifting Shein items. Again, I don't go out of my way to thrift them, but if I like the item initially and then I see the brand is Shein, then I'll still buy it. I think it's definitely a personal decision, but I would like to know your opinion about thrifting Shein items or, you know, kind of all those types of brands. But I do have to say, I do really like these pants. I don't recommend going on Shein and buying them. I feel like I have to give a disclaimer about that, but yeah. Then for a very interesting top, I have this top, which is originally from Zara. It actually had the original tag on there, which it was supposed to be $35.90. And some thrift stores, when it does have the original price, on there like the tag you know it does give them a little bit of like leeway to make the price higher because they're like oh you could have been buying it for this whatever is less than 35 technically you're getting a good deal so it was 16 dollars, and so i went back and forth if i was going to actually buy it but i just love the sleeves so much i love a good just funky intense sleeve and i also really liked this color it kind of giving me a sage green which i don't really have so i thought that was just interesting to add into my wardrobe and again just the sleeves i mean they're obnoxious i cannot put my hair like in front it has to be like that because of how like intense the sleeves are but they are amazing really love also the material of the actual top i think with the sleeves being as intense as they are sometimes they end up then just putting like cotton like as if it's just a t-shirt with puffy sleeves and that really annoys me. I think it really makes the top feel very underwhelming whereas this, the actual normal material is interesting by itself and so they both are kind of doing something versus one of them just kind of like outshining it. Another item that actually had the original tag on there as well is this, I would say, cause I was looking at both of them. So this is the top I just showed and then this is the next item. I originally was like, wait, are they the same color? But they definitely are not. This is definitely a lighter almost mint 
color it kind of looks blue on camera so i don't know anyway this is a dress originally from universal thread which the original tag said it was supposed to be 30 dollars, and i ended up getting it for 10 dollars, which i thought was pretty good and i love this thing so much now i obviously have already done a video thrifting cottagecore i did a thrift store mystery box that was themed around cottagecore from depop and i have continued to love the cottagecore style and if you guys don't know this about me i freaking love sims I've been playing since Sims 1 since I was a kid. Probably not great for my mental development uh, as a kid, but you know, we'll disregard that. And they came out with a new pack, which is like cottage living. And the clothing items are like where it is at. I've never wanted to dress like my Sim more in my life than now. And just all the dresses have been super inspiring to me. And so I saw this and was like, oh my gosh, totally reminds me of cottage core. It is so beautiful. It's made actually surprisingly with a really good material. It isn't too thick, but it's also not too thin it does kind of remind me of almost like a denim and the color is amazing it has pockets which is another plus since we are on the topic of cottagecore and dresses i ended up thrifting this dress which is originally from the brand Ruli, and it was 14 dollars. but okay i need to set up the scene again sims cottage living giving me so much freaking inspiration I said to myself last week, I need to find a plaid dress or like a guinam dress, a cottage core style guinam or plaid dress because I saw this dress again in The Sims and I just, I, I want that. I really did think about sewing my own, which I think I honestly will try, but ever since I have been keeping my eye out for the dresses and I saw this and I just freaking fell in love. It basically is kind of like a chiffon on the like first layer and then the second layer is obviously like a thicker material so it's not see-through. It just is everything that I've been wanting and I was just really surprised because I, I did thrift this one at Plato's Closet, which Plato's Closet, at least for mine, is very much all like Shein, Forever 21, Princess Polly, that kind Kind of thing so i was surprised to find a dress that does remind me of kind of something more vintage although maybe the brand is kind of one of those like trendy hip brands i just love this so much because it is something that i've been thinking about wanting and i just threw that into the universe and the thrift gods they listen to me. Going the opposite style of what I was just showing is this t-shirt, which is originally from Urban Outfitters. It is one size, which I would say it probably fits more like a medium, possibly a large, surprisingly with the material being as soft as it is it doesn't stick to my body, which I find a lot of t-shirts with kind of a softer feel just stick to your body. And it's really annoying, at least for me personally. I just saw this and I thought it was kind of cool. I mean, it's just some skeletons in the heat and the sun. So I felt like it almost combines summer and Halloween pretty perfectly. And I, I think that's kind of where we are in like the season right now, where it's halfway through August and some people are like, it's Halloween time. Some people are like, no no it's still summertime and it's kind of where i'm at where well no i would ra i would rather be like full speed ahead into fall halloween time and one thing i did notice is during summertime i much more gravitate towards my harley davidson t-shirts or just like t-shirts in general throughout the past year my style has definitely shifted a lot but when it is summertime or if i'm having to do something where i will have to be outside i will just naturally just go either just a plain t-shirt or a harley davidson top because it makes me feel good and i'm not going to overheat too much so this is just kind of perfect for a just throw on t-shirt talking about harley davidson i thrifted this harley davidson long sleeve and this one is just so amazing i just oh gosh i really really love it it's something unique and interesting and i think i have two long sleeve harley davidson shirts one of them is black or it's like a like a wash black and then the other one is a yellow this one just caught my eye and i wasn't originally gonna go into kind of the men's t-shirt section just because there's mainly just like church t-shirts or like elementary school spirit day t-shirts but i actually saw the sleeve and i was like oh my god flames oh my gosh harley davidson and i even think the back is i mean it's not that interesting it's literally just a photo of the Harley Davidson building in Riverside, California, um, but it has flames around it. This next one is a skirt. I ended up thrifting for $10. It's originally from Hana and it has this just beautiful, 
blue pattern and John and I are planning to be Harvey and Sabrina the original like TV series as our Halloween costumes because we have a cat named Salem because I named him after Salem and he's black and it only makes sense and I saw this photo of Sabrina and Harvey and I was like oh my gosh this skirt is very similar to that skirt so now I just need a blue t-shirt and I'll basically have the outfit perfectly which I didn't thrift it originally because of that but I thrifted this and then I saw that and I was like oh my gosh and then lastly I found some boots which I am so I mean number one I'm really surprised that I found them number two they were my size and number three that they were only seven dollars these tommy hilfiger boots these black boots i love love the silhouette them they are just such a boss boot and i don't have any boots that are brown or tan i have a lot of black boots which i love so much but if i'm not wanting to make as much of like not a statement but maybe i want to go for more of a neutral outfit these are little these are literally perfect. I do get a lot of questions on how I clean thrifted shoes and I haven't looked it up as to how I'm supposed to. I just use a disinfecting wipe, like a bunch of disinfecting wipes to wipe down the inside and the outside. If you have a better option, please share with the class. But these ones are just absolutely amazing and I feel like really end this thrift haul with a bane. <laughs> So yes, this thrift with me was kind of a fail, but it also kind of wasn't a fail. And hopefully it's okay that I included stuff that I've thrifted the past month. I always just find it difficult when I do because I'm like, where do I insert them? Because I really want to share them because I'm so freaking excited about them. But I then don't want to wait too long because I want to wear the item and yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like thrifting and secondhand fashion, you can hit the subscribe button right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And of course, if you'd like to stay as a day with me during the week, you can follow me on Instagram, which is alexsunshine83. I originally posted about these on my Instagram, so I'm just saying, we have fun over there. I will see you guys on Sunday with a brand new Sunday Sunday video. I hope you have a super sunny day. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!